Hello everyone. Have you ever thought of unveiling insights from your unstructured data such as PDF documents? Let's go a step over and see how we can start chatting with your PDF documents using Amazon Open Search Service as a vector database. I am Praveen Mohan working as an analytics specialist with AWS. So now we will look into a short demo on a chat based web application where you can simply start uploading your PDF documents and ask questions based upon the PDF content and let Amazon Open Search Service to answer them. So this is the web application with the chat interface. I have hosted this on an EC2 instance and the web UA is built with Streamlit. So in this left panel, you can simply start browsing your files from your local system and upload the PDFs to the application. And once the processing is over, you can simply start asking questions. So for the demo, I will be using two PDF documents uh, as a knowledge base. So we'll just have a quick look on those documents. One talks about the uh, operational best practices for Amazon Open Search Service. This is available, uh, publicly available in the official documentation. So it talks about the different uh, uh, best practices and recommendations for Amazon Open Search Service. The next one is the Amazon Open Search Service FAQs. Again, this is the uh, publicly available document. So uh, uh, both the documents talks about the open search best practices and a lot of details about open search in general. So this is uh, these two web pages have converted into PDF documents and we will be using these two PDF documents as knowledge base. So let's start uploading both the files here. Yeah, so when you click process here, what happens behind the screen is that both the PDF documents will be undergoing some transformation stages starting from uh, chunking the PDFs into smaller documents and then uh, these documents are converted into vectors using an embedding model and finally those vectors are indexed into open search service index. So now we have the processing is over where we got a message that we can start searching on your PDFs. So let's start with a very uh, uh, simple question, something like what is open search used for? Yeah, so now we got an answer. I think it looks more relevant, right? So uh, the answer tells us that open search can be used for log analytics, application search, enterprise search, and so on. Yeah, so this is uh, actually coming from uh, the Amazon Open Search Service FAQ document that we just uploaded. So now we will go uh, for the next question, something like how to secure it. Yeah, now we got uh, uh, some recommendations in terms of security best practices. So it talks about encryption at risk, node to node encryption, fine grained access control for the open search cluster and so on. Yeah, this looks more relevant, uh, which are the security best practices. But one thing uh, to be noted in this particular question that we asked. So the question that I used here is how to secure it, right? I didn't mention uh, whether it is going to be open search or anything else, right? So I just used a pronoun it, but still uh, the application was quite smart enough to understand the context, which is the open search itself. And it was able to give the uh, uh, relevant answer. We will see how this is happening behind the screen when, when we go through the architecture diagram. But um, one thing is that that application is able to remember the history of conversations for every uh, dialogue that's happening uh, uh, in the chat. We'll go with one more last question being more specific. Something like, what is the maximum number of allowed shots? Yeah, so now we got an answer which tells that the maximum number of allowed shards per node in the service is 1000. Yeah, this looks more accurate, right? So again, this is coming from the operational best practices document. Yeah, so 
in overall uh, we are able to uh, uh, chat with the pdf content and get more relevant and accurate answers so now let's move on to the architecture diagram which is powering this uh, demo that you are seeing here so this is the overall aws cloud architecture uh, that is powering the demo so these are the core components of the architecture first and foremost is the central core component that is the vector database which is amazon open source service that stores the uploaded pdf documents in format of vectors and then answer the questions that we ask next is the document encoder component which is basically a lambda function enclosing the langchain framework responsible for pre-processing the pdf contents and then ingesting it into open search next comes the query encoder component which is again a lambda function with langchain framework querying the open search cluster for whatever the question is asked from the client next is the embedder component which is a common layer for both the document and the query encoder and this is basically used to encode the text documents into vectors it is basically the embedding model hosted in sagemaker and for the demo we used gpt 6 billion variant model next is the memory store which is dynamo db to make sure the context of conversations are maintained to support multi turn conversations this is the reason that the application was able to maintain the complete context which was the open search itself so that even even when we asked a question how to secure it the uh, application was quite smart enough to understand that we are talking about the context open search because the context was actually stored in this DynamoDB. So last one is the uh, large language model generator component, which generates a final response based upon the context provided. For the demo, we use FLAN T5 XXL large language model. Now let's see how the flow goes on as we interact with the UI. So once we upload the PDF, the document gets stored in S3, which then triggers the Lambda. Lambda then does the cleansing of PDF, followed by chunking of the PDF into individual documents and finally transforming the chunks into vectors using the embedder component. And this happens in a batch fashion. Once the vectors are generated, the Lambda does, does a bulk request to ingest the document vectors into open search index. This completes the overall ingestion flow. Then we ask a question over the PDF content, which goes through the API gateway and proxies to the Lambda function. Lambda with the help of flank chain first converts a query into a vector using a real-time SageMaker endpoint hosting the actual embedding model. Lambda then uses a neural search query to fetch the documents related to the query vector as response R. Lambda as the next step, it's a DynamoDB table to check if there are any conversations related to the same session ID and then add those messages related to the particular session ID to the response. So now R becomes R plus M, where M being the messages retrieved from the DynamoDB table. Please note that a new session ID is automatically generated for every new user or every new session and gets stored in the DynamoDB table. Now the augmented response R plus M is passed as input to the large language model with this prompt template. So basically now the large language model generates a response based upon the context R plus M. Here, the responses from the open search and the DynamoDB are combined and passed as prompts to the large language model to generate the response. Lambda takes the generated response back to the API gateway and finally the response A is what you see in the chat as the answer to the question asked. This way, open search as a vector database 
powers the conversational search for your own unstructured data. Thank you.